वेलकम टू जे एस एस आर एस एच फिजिक्स पी यू चानल हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेम ऑफ दिस ऑप्टिक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट इज एंगल ऑफ मिनिमम डिविएशन फॉर द गिवन प्रिजम इन अ वाइट शीट ड्रॉ हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन एंड सेट द प्रिजम बाय एडजस्टिंग इट्स एजेस एंड ड्रॉ द आउटलाइन ऑफ द प्रिजम आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग आउटलाइन ऑफ द प्रिजम मार्क द पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंस one surface will be the first refracting surface second refracting surface and this one will be the base of the prism after marking the point of incidence draw the normal to the surface and incident ray normal to the surface is perpendicular to the surface 90 degree angle of incidence will be always measured from normal to the surface If we want angle of incidence thirty five degree, then from ninety to eighty ten degrees, twenty, thirty, and here is thirty five degrees from the normal to the surface. Remove the protractor. Join these two lines is normal to the surface, and the line from here to here gives you the incident ray. After drawing the normal. to the surface as well as the incident ray place the prism at its position and prick the pins on the incident rays at larger distances you can see the refracted image of those three pins so those are nothing but the emergent ray that emergent ray has to be traced on the paper in the the same direction so for that you have to move your eye sight till you can see all the three pins aligned in the same direction this you have to perform with one of your eye closed when you feel that all the three pins are aligned in the same direction then you have to take a pin you have to prick in the same direction prick one more pin in the same direction of the first pin now you can see the pins which are inside the prism as well as outside the prism are in the same direction it means we have traced the emergent ray on the paper mark the final position of the pins and then remove these pins remove the prism join these two marked points to get the emergent ray on the paper and extrapolate the incident ray here is the emergent ray and this dotted line is the extrapolation of the incident ray the angle between these two rays is nothing but angle of deviation with the help of protractor measure the angle of deviation the angle of deviation is forty degree this is for i value incident angle thirty five degree angle of deviation is forty degree So you have to enter the values. Angle of incidence thirty five degree. Angle of deviation forty degree. And the same experiment should be performed for the different values of I thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, and get the angle of deviation by plotting the graph of I versus delta. Angle of incidence versus the deviation. The minimum value. is considered as angle of minimum deviation and the same value you have to enter in the result